podcast, they mentioned that uh, a concussion substitute was used for uh, Bethany Balser. I was wondering, is there any update that you can share with us? No, I don't know anything. Okay. And then uh, just your uh, overall thoughts on the match tonight. Uh, yeah, I thought that... Uh, yeah, I thought we we tried to do some of the things we'd worked on and prepared for. Um, we executed it at times. At times, we we rushed when we got into the final third. We didn't show enough quality up there, I thought. Um, goals change games. Um, conceding off a throw-in is something that, if anyone knows me, will sit with me for a long time. So that's something that we're definitely going to have to talk about. Um and yeah, I think for Jordan it was tough to have to wait as long as she had to wait to take the penalty was was difficult and penalties are all psychological so the moment she had to wait a long time I was it always puts the advantage into the goalkeeper. Okay. And then last one from me, um as if there is a silver lining to take from tonight, it was the return of Angelina to the field from her ACL injury. I was just wondering you just talk a little bit about uh, you know, giving her that opportunity to make the return and just what it means for, you know, the work that she put in to recover from that injury. Yeah, obviously her biggest aim was to try and get back for the World Cup and she did that, which was a phenomenal achievement. And tonight wasn't about her coming back, it was about trying to get back into the game and thought her quality was, was going to be needed. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can kick her on now and she can get back training and hopefully get more minutes. Appreciate it. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Jacob. And then next we have Jada. Thanks. Thanks, Laura, for taking the time. May I ask, um, if, why is it, as far as the throw-in, that um, I'm guessing upsets you the, the most out of all the, all the other kind of ways to see, uh, concede a goal? Um, and then also I wanted to ask, as far as Fallon goes, not having uh, played for a while, did that have any um, impact on, on the performance tonight? No, I don't think so. She played against a boys team on Sunday, so that was prepared for her. Um, Throw-ins are something you can control. It's it's an area where you can control the moment. It's the same as a set piece, it's the same as any type of restart, and we work on them a lot, and we talk about them a lot, and, and we didn't do that. We allowed the throw-in to come in, it went back to the thrower, she had enough time to take a touch and cross the ball, which is something that we talk about a lot and not allowing. So, yeah, definitely something we're going to have to look at and work on. Thanks, Jada. And then next we have Taylor. Hey, Laura. Thanks for chatting with us. Um, kind of looking forward, you have Angel City next weekend. What is your biggest takeaway from this game, that uh, things you want to work on this week? Throw-ins, probably. Um, I think we've got to get back to understanding what we're trying to do and I think we did some of it tonight but we lacked quality in the final third we lacked quality moving the ball through the thirds um, at times um, but I, was, I mean I was proud of the group they dug in and they they kept going but we just needed some quality and we didn't have it and the reality is in this league if you don't show quality in those moments it's going to be tough um, and you know we could have come away with a point if we'd have done our job off a throw-in, we could have come away with three. Um, there's fine margins in this league, but, you know, we've got six games to go and we're nowhere near accomplishing any of our targets. So we know the Angel City game now is a huge chance for us to get three points and, and the needed points. We need to get those points. So getting back with everybody, hopefully, fingers crossed, everyone comes back fit and healthy. Um, and we can go down there with a, a full strength squad to go and try and get three points, which is going to be really vital for us. Yep. Thanks and safe travels home. Thanks. Thanks, Taylor. Are there any other questions for Laura? All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Laura.